Gamer Braves. Digimon Survive is the game that Digimon fans around the world have been waiting for. But that doesn't mean it's completely alien to those new to the franchise. In fact, I'd argue that Survive is the best game to start off with if you're new to the Digimon series. Even though most of the Digimon games are RPGs and Survive is a visual novel, it's really accessible for non-Digimon fans. Here are 5 reasons why Digimon Survive is the best game for newcomers to get into the franchise. Number 1. The Similarities with Digimon Adventure Historically, Digimon first began as a series of virtual pet toys, before getting a game, then an anime. For many fans of Digimon in the West, their first mainstream exposure to the franchise started off from watching Digimon Adventure on TV. Even though Digimon has spawned several anime series, films, and other forms of media since then, the adventure anime is still considered by many to be the peak of Digimon. It's the story of a group of children who get whisked away into another world, being forced to survive with their Digimon partners by their side. In this aspect, Survive is the Digimon video game which offers the most similar experience to watching Adventure. Besides playing the 2013 Digimon Adventure PSP game, which is only available in Japan that is. The 8 playable characters in Digimon Survive mirror the digi destined of Digimon Adventure in many ways. In many of the other Digimon video games, the emphasis is less on children forming a bond with their Digimon partners, and more of just going on a journey with whichever Digimon that you recruit along the way. So if you want the closest experience to to the OG Digimon anime that made the franchise so big, Survive's a great place to start. Number 2. Digimon as fleshed out characters It's hard to flesh out your franchise's huge roster of characters. It can be daunting for non-Digimon fans to approach the series because of this. For example, I know a friend who couldn't tell the difference between Gabumon and Gaumon. It can be really difficult to form a connection with the Digimon in, say, Cyber Sleuth, since you're constantly evolving and replacing your party members. Yes, in Survive, you have the option to do the same and have your party be a bunch of random Digimon, but the game already presents its cast of Digimon partners in such a strong, memorable way. Agumon and the others all play a very central role in the story. They have distinct voices and personalities, and it's much easier to get attached to them, which serves as a great way for new fans to dip their feet into the series. It also also helps that they're constantly in their rupee forms. I mean, having your huge mega evolved Digimon partners following behind you in next order is cool and all, but having your cute, adorable talking dinosaur, the literal mascot of your series, to be the one always with the player still leaves the stronger impression. Number 3. A strong story that works even without Digimon. Wait, man, just what are you on about? Now, let me explain. In Survive, the word Digimon is barely used throughout the game at all. In fact, the Digimon that we see in the game are called Kemonogami, which ties in the game's more mystical and occult themes. My point is, the game is structured in such a way that it works, even if you disregard a lot of the elements which makes Digimon Digimon, compare it to the digital, more cyber-esque setting in a lot of the other games. The player doesn't need to wrap their head around all the stuff like hacking and cyber attacks from Digimon World 4, or try to climb the ranks of being a tamer in Digimon World 2 and 3. Like, there's no need to understand Yggdrasil, the Royal Knights, and a lot of the pre-established lore of the digital world. Digimon Survive is a fresh new start. It has its own lore that connects to the Digimon that we know and love, without drowning the player in a lot of the jargon and history that's present in many other Digimon games. Number 4. Less mechanics and a smaller roster Yes, the Digimon franchise that we know and love owes itself to many interesting mechanics. Stuff like Jawgrass, aka DNA Digivolution, Armor Digivolutions, DJ Eggs, etc. While these are all cool for fans, a lot of these elements can seem foreign to newcomers. Which is why I appreciate how Survive doesn't feature these elements prominently. You don't need to worry about looking for a toilet for your Digimon to poop, or making sure that you feed them in time, like in World, Redigitize, or Next Order. It also helps that the roster in Survive is smaller than most of the other games. Digimon Survive has 118 Digimon. Sure, that's still a lot more than the PS1 World games. But that's half of what we have in Cyber Sleuth and Next Order, the more modern games. In Survive, you just need to focus on the story and the characters. New fans can get into all the Digimon mumbo jumbo in other games or the anime series. Just focus on the emotional experience of Survive and we'll be recruiting a lot of new fans. Number 5. Less Grindy 
Many of the Digimon games I've played naturally devolved into grindfests by nature of being JRPGs. I sit around the same map in Digimon World DS, picking fights and scanning data over and over again. My super cool Digimon partners die from old age in next order, so I have to raise one from the start all over again. Or just me having to Digivolve and DNA Digivolve my party again and again in Cyber Sleuth, just so that I can get enough stats to finally unlock that one elusive Digimon. Digimon Survive doesn't have this baggage. Sure, you can grind in the game, but the combat is extremely easy for a tactics game. Survive outright offers the option to set the difficulty level before each fight too. Want to get a new evolution? Just use a slab. You can evolve any free Digimon with items, instead of having to hit a minimum level or X amount of stats. So these are the 5 reasons why Digimon Survive is the best game to start for non-Digimon fans. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our review of Digimon Survive to have a more holistic view of the game. This has been Ben from Gamer Braves. What platform are you playing or planning to play Digimon Survive on? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Hey there! Thank you so much for watching our videos. Don't forget to give us a subscribe if you'd like to see more, and like so we know what kind of content you want to see. Got suggestions for new content? Let us know in the comments below too. Thank you so much again for watching. Take care dudes.